a more flexible way of plotting is to go to the graphics dialog. I tend to click on the, uh, the picture in the toolbar, but of course you can also access these things from the menu. Um, if I do that, I get a list on the right hand side of the variables in the database. Say I want to plot to plot, say that I want to plot inflat Q and inflat A. What I'll do is I'll double click on them to move them into the selection, inflat Q, inflat A, and now I have them both selected for plotting. The options are to plot the actual series, to make two separate graphs, in this case, because I've selected two variables, to create scatter plots, and there's actually a lot more graphs. We'll turn to that in a moment. Let's click actual series, and now I see the quarterly inflation and the annual inflation um, together. So in blue, we have the annual inflation. As you can see, of course, that because that is the year-to-year -year change, the seasonality is effectively gone um, from, uh, from the series. Perhaps I would want to look at the time series plot or time series properties of these uh, series. Now, the way the graphics works is there are multiple graphics windows. In this case, I have only one graphics window that is called data plot. Inside a graphics window, there are multiple areas or graphs. This one and this one, that's only two. But I could duplicate it, I could do copy and paste, and now I have four. And as you see, it automatically adjusts. Um, all the scales automatically adjust. If I want to go back, I can either undo or select and delete. Well, let's re remove this one. So these are the series I focus on. <clears throat> Perhaps you would like to look at the um, uh, time series properties of these data. Perhaps we would like to look at the uh, time series properties of the variables, um, the quarterly and annual inflation. I go back to graphics. I still have them selected. Maybe I start with one um, to inflat Q. I go to all plot types. And now I have a choice of uh, different types of data. I can have actual series, multiple series. This is for things like uh, to compare different variables. Um, scatter plots, distribution, look at, the, uh, for example, QQ plots. Time series properties, that's the one I want to use now. Uh, autocorrelation functions uh, and variants of that. And I can do more fancy plots like error bars, error bands, but they may be most useful. Uh, they will appear when, once we start forecasting. Okay, what did I say? We do the time series properties, autocorrelation function. Um, well, then there's a set of choices to the right. You can look at that in more detail. The default is the autocorrelation function because that's what I've clicked on, in, on the left. The lag length is set to 20, that's probably fine for now. I click on plot and now I have the, uh, in the autocorrelation function of inflat Q. If I want to do the same thing for inflat A, and I could have done it together, but then both of them would have been in the same graph. I can do that in a moment. Um, to plot this, and now I have both of them in separate graphs, and if I to these two together, all plot types, plot, I now have the two of them in the same graph, and then the colors adjust automatically. Well, you see, of course, that the inflat Q, you see the, the seasonal um, <clears throat> uh, spikes, the spikes at the seasonal frequency, which have basically gone off inflat A, and here we see them together. You can copy and paste so I've selected this graph, I do copy, and I can, for example, paste it in here, paste. Um, but now, of course, I've copied the red one into the red one, and you can't see the difference in the colors. Well, that is something you can change as well. If you double-click on the graph, you see what's in there. 
We can change, for example, this one to green if we want. Uh, or maybe we don't want it as bars, we want it as a, a line. Um, we can do that. Um, so as you can see, there are various things that you can do with these graphs. So that is a, a, a taster of the graph editing and graph creating facilities of Oxmetrics.